Hello y'all from Arizona. As you notice, I'm not in the desert or outside anywhere metal detecting. I'm literally standing in my office. And I just wanted to share the journey with y'all as I build this office. And um, But the one thing that is done in the office, it's not near being done, but Bill finished painting it today for me. And as y'all saw on my community page, a lot of you saw on my community page that I was gonna, we were gonna turn a room, our junk room into an office for me. So I just thought I'd give y'all a quick view of it. And like I said, it is not decorated at all. We still got paint stuff on the floor here. And my detector sitting in the corner. I do have a curtain that I got that up. So I do have that done. Of course my desk, I'll eventually probably get another desk because in down the road. Um, and then I just uh, got to get out this rock and chair out. And of course I have to share some of my office space with kitchen items here in the corner because there's just not room in our kitchen for them. As I've spoke of before, this house is very very old um, and then this is chlor a closet and storage space which I ordered these really cool curtains that I'm, they're going to be hung up over that to hide all the storage so I'm waiting for those to come because they're going to make it look really cool and then as you can see I have um, a shelving area where I can put my crystals rocks cool metal detecting finds there's my nugget shooter red sign yeah like I said I gotta get all the stuff out of here and uh get it decorated but i do like this green color i'm digging it and as you can see well this door right here because the kitchen you come from the kitchen into here is my office and then if you go around the corner right here it's mr southern dolphins he's had his office for a while now it's a small room so it's easy to end up with a lot of stuff so because he's got lots of stuff and then all his metal we're going to probably get some type of metal detecting rack to hang up my two detectors in my room and i'll probably eventually get like a curio cabinet to put stuff in actually these coins right here are mine i won them yeah he's got some cool stuff though and um shoo shoo anyways y'all so we are going right now to Goodwill or wherever thrift shopping for stuff for my office. So I'll get back with y'all and we'll see if I found some good stuff. Okay, y'all. We are actually about to enter the town of Wickenburg, which is about 10 miles from our house, honey, in Morristown. Yep. I'd say about 10 miles. So we come here often and I hate this roundabout so bad because there's been so many people that come right through here those people were being good that almost hit us and I hate that roundabout so bad but anyways yeah they have a ferris wheel up now for some time and um, I'm just gonna read this to y'all real quick because I wouldn't have been able to memorize it all I looked it up in uh, Wickenburg uh, was founded in 1863 I said founded in 1863 Wickenburg saw its population swell after gold was discovered in the nearby vulture mine. Wells Fargo stage coaches spread the news and news settlers moved to town as gold fever swept the country. Henry Wickenburg, the town's namesake, was among the first pioneer settlers. And his house is up here, but we're not going to probably get to show it to you. Isn't it down the road right there, honey? Yep. I think it's down this road right here. Say hi, honey. Hi, honey. Anyways, oh, and that's the uh, Wickenburg Museum over there. Um, we've been there. That's a really cool place over there. And there's a lot of little shops, food fosh shops and such here. But we come here a lot to grocery shop and go to Tractor Supply. We're going there now, actually, to get chicken food. But also, didn't you say Henry Wickenburg, honey? He went He uh, went broke trying to be a gold prospector? Well, no. He made a lot of money, oh. but he died broke. Oh, he died broke. He got rich with gold, and he died He died broke. That's the story of Henry Wickenburg. But I just thought it'd be cool to kind of show you the little town of Wickenburg, especially for people that may never get to come to Wickenburg, Arizona. Uh, this is your way of getting to see the little town. Hey, 
And they got the little decorations up where you can see on the light poles and such. It's a cute little town. I'm not sure what the population is at Wickenburg. Maybe 10,000? 10, I'm guessing 10,000. So, yeah. One of our favorite places up here to eat is called um, Screamers. It's like an old style diner type burger joint. It's been here for what, since the 50s? Been here at least since the 50s, y'all. 56. 1956, born. the year Bill was born. Um, same year my mama was born too. <laughs> we have to, I have to, we tease and joke around. It's all in fun. But I thought we were closer to it than we are, but maybe not. We've ate there too. Right there is a place, Chinese restaurant. They got pretty good food. Sizzling Walk. And I don't know if y'all could see it or not. But um, the Screamers place is right up here. Oh, and here is the Wickenburg Fire Department right here. That's the Wickenburg Fire Department. And this Maverick store is fairly new. Kind of a brand new store right there. And are we near Screamers yet, honey? It's a ways yet, dear. I thought we were closer. Sorry, y'all, for the long ride. But hey, you're getting to see Wickenburg. That's the old fire department. Oh, that oh that building was back there. I didn't film it. Yeah. Oh right. Oh, this was the old fire department. He said, "Oh, hope I didn't move the camera too fast." But right up here, it's on the left here of the road where the flags are flying if you can see that this place called screamers if you ever come to visit wickenburg go get you a burger right there that is a good yummy burger place i usually get a mushroom swiss burger and i add I like the hawaiian ba bacon and a green chili to it and bill likes the hawaiian he likes the hawaiian burger yeah And we're getting ready to come, getting ready to come up to track the supply. We gotta stop real fast before I go thrift shopping. First, and get some uh, chicken food at the tractor supply, and then our safe up here too is the grocery store we shop at most of the time, Safeway. But it's a cute little town. It's definitely a. Uh, that's the end of it. Different looking from, well, if you keep going straight, you go to what mountains, honey? Go ahead. What mountains are those? You don't know. Oh my gosh, there's something. Bunch of mountains, oh, the, the Harkwahala Mountains are up there. Where the Harkwahala is, you go, if you keep straight on this road, it would take you to Salome, where we have our, where we camp a lot and had our last outing. And we are here at Tractor Supply. I love this store, though. I guess tractor supplies are everywhere, right? Basically anymore. No, no? I wonder if they're in Virginia, because I don't remember. Oh, lucky. Uh-oh, tacos. Oh, we're having tacos. I don't know. Oh, yeah. But we are at tractor supply, y'all, and I got to go get some chicken food. And I'll get back with you. Okay, y'all, well, we left tractor supply. By the way, we did not. Here's Goodwill, by the way. We're here at Goodwill. That was not a taco stand. That was a hot dog stand, and they wanted about $10 for a hot dog and we decided to pass but we did get these are pretty good actually we just got these at the tractor supply from my all my Australian friends on YouTube looky here Australian licorice we just got pretty good stuff I actually yeah. like it I'm not much on black licorice but I'll eat this but uh, we're gonna go and go well and hope to find some goodies for my office okay y'all we are back home from going thrift store shopping and I did find a few cool finds which I'm going to get around to showing you but we decided because right down in the same shopping center is Goodwill is one of my favorite places to eat in Wickenburg and it's Lydia's Mexican restaurant and they have some pretty good food um, we've ate there several times and we ordered takeout so I could get back get home and get my stuff home but this I got some nachos with a bunch of stuff. Yum. Nachos. And Bill got, I got him some carne, carne, carne asada. Am I pronouncing that right? Tacos. 
That's what he's having. So, yeah, yummy stuff. And what, of course, a beggar. Beggar, beggar, beggar. But yeah, again, if you ever take a trip to Wickenburg or you're going to visit, this is a good place to eat Lydia's Mexican restaurant. Okay, well, real quick, y'all, before we, so we can get back to eating our lunch, I'll show you the things I got today. I actually got a, actually a nice, decent, halfway decent, uh, get off of that, Bruno, desk chair, and uh, it was $7. I got this desk chair for $7. Real wood and everything. Not, I mean, it's chipped in some places, but it's overall a nice desk chair. It's real wood. Of course. No fake wood. Got me a wastebasket from all of this is thrift store stuff. Then we got fighting dogs. Got a, a plant hanger. Honey, not the dogs. Me. This is about me in my office. I got a plant hanger thingy I'm going to do something with. And, um,. Plenty back. I don't want that close. Good. I feel like you're way down here and you should be up higher. I feel like you need to be higher. Your head's already at the top. Here. Okay, so. Did we see this already? We left this everywhere. Okay. So I got that cool basket. You're going to have to cut whatever. Got that cool basket. And then I thought this looks cool. I know it's of some Greek or Roman person maybe i'm not even sure who it is gonna be maybe it's shakespeare but i'm not sure so i just thought it looked really cool and i wasn't sure who it was but i'd like to have it in my office if one of you can identify it shakespeare or not unless it's just supposed to be just a statue of somebody i don't know but if you know who it is i thought it looked cool and i thought it'd be cool in my office and then of course just got this cool little Put a plant in it or what or whatever I make it into, little thing. And uh, it's pretty cool how we found an office chair. Yeah. I mean it's a little wore out, but it'll do the job. <coughs> Hopefully I don't break this stuff. And I just got a couple of little things you can hang on the wall. Ceramic. I still got more to get more, if I don't break it first. Things to work at for my office, but I got a little bit today. But anyway, I thought these were cute, peace and happiness. So you were eventually see all this come together from how it looked before, you know, without being decorated. And as it comes along, I just wanted to, to include y'all on the journey of the office. And uh, I'm hungry and I want to eat some of them nachos. So you know what that means. Like, subscribe, ring that notification bell if you enjoy these videos. And, um, have a great day, y'all.